In this video, I'm gonna show you a blitz that works on both consoles, one of the best blitzes in Madden for just getting better pressure against Bunch, better pressure against really a lot of the formations that most people run, and at the same time, keeping a really nice little coverage scheme in behind it. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Big Nickel Over G defense out of the New York Giants playbook. And if you wanna get my full Big Nickel Over G defense, I'll put a link in the description down below you can join my patreon to get that um, I think the big nickel over G is the most versatile defense as by far the best blitzing concepts and um, I've just been really really loving running this defense for the pressure and the coverages that you can create from this I think it's very effective now the blitz we're going to talk about today is the WS blitz one this is the weak side safety blitz one and the setup is really really simple all we're going to do is we're going to show blitz pinch our D-line, crash our D-line out. We're going to slide this guy off on the right edge or off that left edge, QB contain, you want him in the contain. And then I like to use her the safety that's in the inside third, right about here. And what you'll see is at the snap of the ball, the pressure will come off of the left edge. Now, um, one thing that can help this pressure just a little bit is to make sure that you're getting that guard or that center on the right side to kind of shift over to you and you might even want to blitz your user for this so you see here i'm going to blitz my user and you'll see him come in this time perfectly now like i said this is a very good blitz for current gen as well as next gen it works on both consoles if you're running this on current gen you might not want to put him on a contain um, but on next gen these contains are really really good blitz angles and what you'll see here again this time i'm gonna block my tight end sometimes when the tight end blocks this can get picked up but that's the only real thing they can do um, to try to pick this up you'll notice that if i were to block my running back um, this makes this blitz actually probably a little better so i'm gonna block my running back here and again, you want to kind of get down in the grill of the defense or the offensive line, kind of really get them to attack to you. And notice that that contain will loop around the running back against bunch. So the only thing that you really have to worry about is if they block a tight end. The running back will pretty much never pick this guy up. Um, and if they block a tight end, honestly, it comes down to again, the better your user is, uh, the better your user is down here, the better this will be. So if I can get, if I can really get down in the grill, this will come in. But if I mess up my user a lot of times, um, or if I mess up my placement, sometimes you can literally move this guy in just a little bit too much. So I'll show you that real quick. So if I move him in about right here, that's a little bit closer to what we want. Um, you know, you just, you just want to make sure that he's kind of on the outskirts of the formation. And then what you should see here is the snap of the ball. A lot of times he'll come around. So again, occasionally, like I said, the, the block tight end can give us some problems. We have some solutions for that in our defensive ebook. But by and large, this is one of my favorite blitzes in the entire game. If you leave him out wide, this blitz will still come in. But as you can see, the contain, it's not going to be able to come in if they block a running back or if they block a tight end. So that's another thing that you want to just kind of pay attention to. Now, if I spread my D-line, I'll show you something real quick here with this. So let's say I spread my D-line and I crash them down or crash them inside. And then I move this guy in so that he's on the contain. Now we've got a really wide split. This can actually be advantageous for like a block tight end. So you see, because he's so wide, he's so far outside that he's able to come in a little bit easier. So you can kind of mess with that if you wanted to. Um, the crashing of the line down and may, maybe spread them outside, that can help a little bit with the block tight end. Uh, Big Nickel G is a package and a formation that really gives you a lot of different concepts, a lot of different options uh, for your pressure. Now, from a coverage perspective, you can do anything that you want here. We can do all kinds of stuff with this. So if we wanted to, we could leave the main coverage. Another thing that I like to do with this, to, this, this guy right here, black, is just put him on a hard flat. That'll help guard a lot of the running back routes to the right side of the screen, especially because we have main coverage across the board. And then, you know, you might have something like this where, you know, he's able to get out to that, that table route, make the play, maybe make a pick. And that can be very advantageous to you. Now, if you are sending, if they're going to max protect on you, one of the cool parts about this, let's say that they flip their bunch. Um, so let's say they flip their bunch. All we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and just flip our play. And you'll see here that this blitz, now the safety on this side will come down. And it'll be very simple to set up. And as you can see here, the pressure is still basically the same on the right side. Occasionally you'll get this B gap pressure 
Um, and then one other thing that you can do is let's say that you're um, let's say that you're doing this in zone coverage okay so let's say we're doing this in zone coverage just as an example here so this guy's our blitzer we're gonna pinch him down and then they flip on us right so they're gonna flip their play on us well we can go ahead and just drop him into his zone and now we're gonna blitz that nickel on the opposite side and notice that we don't even have to move him he's already on the contain and you'll see here that the pressure will fly in um, on that side okay so you can kind of adapt this if you want to um, another thing we could do let's say let's say they flip on us like this we're gonna go to this play the strong safety LB blitz which has this guy blitzing um, and then we'll take this guy maybe man him up kind of like this and now you see we're in the basically the same defense um, and we don't have to flip with our opponents so another one of the real big benefits uh, to this defense I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to get my full Big Nickel Over G defensive guide, I'm going to put a link in the description to my Patreon membership. You can sign up today for just $10, unlocks everything, gets you all the ebooks, all the updates to those ebooks, all of our weekly updates. We're going to have weekly updates every week that provide just kind of tips to keep you on top of all things meta. And again, I want to thank you for watching. If you want to sign up for our membership, get all of our ebooks, the link is down in the description. Just scroll on down to the description of the video, click the link down there, and it'll take you right over to the membership page.